unto thee that have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt ye shall serve Yahweh upon this mountain there we go Roman 8 31 Roman 8 31 There's a book of Romans chapter 1 and verses 31, verses 8 and 31. So like Romans 8, 31. What, what shall we say then? He said, what shall we then say to this thing? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? The Most High is with the Israelites. Who can? You can't do anything against the Israelites. You can't do anything unless the Most High allows you to do it. Now the Most High is, is, is with us. Okay. He said, And Moses said unto Yahweh, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Yahweh of thy father has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, that should I say unto the children of Israel. That should I say unto the children of Israel. Right? That shall thou say unto the children of Israel. <laughs> I'm telling you. I am has sent me unto you. Let's go right here. So you get in the point, right? Let's go to Exodus, right? Let's go to Exodus chapter 12, right? So we encourage brother and sister to read if you want to understand because right now the Most High is sending the plagues. You see the plague is coming down Babylon, the great. The plague is coming upon the whole world because the whole world witnessed and see America oppressing us and oppressing the children of Israel throughout the fucking this earth. And they ain't doing nothing about it. Let's go to Exodus chapter 12. This is the book of Exodus, right? All right, let me see There's the verses I want before jumping to Exodus chapter 12, all right? All right, let's go right here. So you gotta understand, that's why I told you that Amashiach, he is that lamb, he is that Passover that we need, okay, okay? So keep in mind. Right? Actually, I'm going to read from verses 1. Right? We're going to jump to Ezra chapter 11. Right? Ezra chapter 11. Right? Ezra chapter 11. Right? So like it. Right? Keep in mind. Let me go get Isaiah 19. And I'm going to prove something quick. Isaiah 19 and verses 3. Isaiah 19 and 3. This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 19 and verses 3. Isaiah 19 and 3. And it reads, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idol, into the charmers, right? They're gonna go to the same weakness that they do. Into them that have familiar spirit, into the wizard, and the Egyptian will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts. So this happened at the time of the Babylon. At this time, guess what? The most I take Babylon fully out of the way, there won't be anything. That's it. Let's go back right here. This is a book of of Exodus chapter 11. Exodus is 11, and we're going to read from verses 1. We'll read 1 through uh, 1 through 5, through 5, right? Exodus chapter 11, 1 through 5. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh. So the same thing is about to happen on Babylon the Great. The Moses are bringing plagues slowly, right? Different plagues, this plague, that plague. The Moses have been bringing it slowly. 
for the past, you know, I'll say 20, 50 years, maybe 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, whatever you want to name it, all right? The most are bringing plagues slowly. And this plague today, the other plague next year, maybe within 20 years from now, maybe within 50 years from is all the will of the Moses. He said, and the Lord said unto Moses, yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. So the most have been bringing the last plagues, which will be what? Destruction. Which, which will be what? Death. Point blank period. The last plagues that are going to come upon Babylon the great. That's it. He said, well, afterward, he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely trust you out hence altogether. Speak now in the ears of the people and let every man borrow of his neighbor. So the Mosai said, listen, man, this time when the Mosai is saving us from Babylon the Great, we're going to live like with so many, the Mosai will bless us with so many things, man. Because the Mosai already told who? Our forefather who Abraham, when you go in the book of Genesis, chapter 15, he said he is gonna bless us and we're gonna come out of those land, those places with what great substance. Do you understand? So if the brother is in France, he'll come out with great substance. If the brother lives in Germany, guess what? The most I'll move the spirit and they're gonna give him jewelry, gold, silver, diamond, everything. If the brother lives in America, guess what? Before Anything happened, guess what? The most I moved the spirit, and guess what? They're gonna give them gold jewelry, like earring, expensive earring from all the, from East Indian, from the so-called white people, the Chinese, and the list goes on and on and on, man. It's about to happen and again. It won't be like we're gonna be, oh, we don't want anybody to see. Let us just live quietly. Oh, let us let us just bump. No, man. Anywhere you'll be, guess what? The most I'm going to spray up on the hidden, man. And they're going to give you jewel, gold, diamond, all type of things, man. They're going to give you all those things, man. It's going to happen again, man. Anywhere the Israel have been scattered when the most I deliver them. All right? Let's read it. Speak now in the ears of the people. And let every man borrow of his neighbor. And every woman of her neighbor. Jewels of silver. Jewels of gold. And the Lord gave the people favor. Who gave favor to our forefather? It's the most sir. You ain't got to talk to my wife. You know, I just need it for my uncle. You know, my uncle just got this, this uh, graduation thing. I just got to need it. No, no. The most high does the work. All you got to do is to obey the most high, Keep the commandment. And you ain't got to worry about anything. Right? And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptian. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of the people, and in the sight of the he was great. Moses, the Moses used him to do so much miracle, man. He done so much miracle, so he was known in the land of Egypt. You can all miss Moses. Everybody know about Moses. Well, he was great in the land. Moses, he was mighty. Moses, he was mighty in the land. That's what you got to keep in mind, man. The Mosai, you obey the voice of the Mosai. The Mosai will make you great right before your enemy. Right before the heathen. That's why we must keep the commandment. That's why we must keep the commandment. Right? That's why we must keep the commandment. You got to make sure you keep in the commandment. You got to do the best that you can every day to make sure that you keep in the commandment, man. You got to make sure you do the best that you can to be keeping the commandment. You got to make sure, you know. You got to make sure. You got to make sure. You got to make sure that what well, you keep in the commandment. So like yeah. So like yeah. I'm trying to pull up. 
as I'm speaking. So I'm gonna try and take advantage, right? As I'm right here now. Okay. So like a Okay. All right. So you gotta keep in mind, man. The most I'm playing no game. The most I'm playing no game. No. The most I'm playing no game. You gotta make sure you stay in the spirit. You keep in the commandment, right? You rehearse in the righteous art. Then you'll be fine, right? He said. And Moses said, "That said the Lord about me not, about me not will I go out into the midst of Egypt." And all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. Because did Amashiach die for us? Amashiach died for us. It's a similitude. Amashiach, he died for being what? The first begotten son of the Mosai. Colossians 1 15. Colossians 1 15, right? Go to Genesis 22, 1 through 2. Because the Mosai used that similitude to reveal unto who? Abraham, our forefather, or Abraham, the father of many nations, right? You go in the book of Revelation 1 and 5. The first begotten son of the Moses is Amashiach. The one that the whole world called naively and ignorantly Jesus Christ. Alright? He said, and Moses said, that said the Lord, about me now will I go out into the midst of Egypt. And all the first born in the land of Egypt shall die. So, this time it will be more mightier than the way the Moses have done it in ancient Egypt. Man. This time, Everything will be consumed. Everything will be gone. Everything will be consumed, man. Everything will be consumed in Babylon the Great. And all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sit upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maid servant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. So keep in mind, you go to Psalm 105, you can read the same thing about it. Right? And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it anymore. Nor shall be shall be like it anymore. Right? Nor shall shall let it be anymore. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against men or beasts. That ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. So you get a point, right? This is spiritual Egypt. You don't believe it? Let's bring out a couple of precepts. Spiritual Egypt, you don't believe it? Let's go in the book of Revelation. We're going to show you. Spiritual Egypt, right? We got to keep the Passover. You got to keep the Passover. Not Easter. No, Passover. We ain't talking about Easter. Passover. For the most I pass over the land. Let me see again. Read 14. Right? Shh. All right. Let me see again. Read 14. This is a book of this is a book of Revelation. Chapter chapter 14 and verses 8. Revelation 14 and 8. He read. And there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. So is he talking about the ancient Babylon? No. He's talking about Babylon, the new Babylon, Babylon the Great, man. Right? Let's prove it right here quick. Come on, man. This happened, man. Let's go in the book of Psalm. Let's go in the book of Psalm, man. Let's go. We're going to go to the scholar, the scholar of the Mosai. Let's go in the book of Psalm. And we're going to go straight to the point. This is the book of, this is the book of Psalm 137. And we're going to read from verses 
7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Who, who rule America? The Edomite. Who rule America? The Edomite. A.K.A. the so-called white people. Okay, let's read it. Who rule America? He said, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. In the day of Jerusalem. In the day of Jerusalem. Okay. Who said, what did they say? What did they say? Raise it. Raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. Even to the foundation thereof. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Daughter of who? That's how you know. He said, oh, daughter of Babylon. So, kids, they're the spiritual Babylon today. They're the spiritual Babylon. In terms of spirituality, America is Babylon. America is Egypt. America is the land of the Chaldee. America is the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. America is the land of, uh, of the Assyrian, the land of the Greeks. America is the land of, of uh, the Ethiopian, Nimrod, the 